for more, I'm like for more. Spacing on my way out. Spacing on my way out. Spacing on my way out. Spacing on my way out, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patting them, it's like Kenneth's side. Take one sip, and I see a friend of mine. Hello. Damn, you are early. You're a camping Twitch for real. Alright. Well, I hope you're doing good, man. I'm doing normal as always. Oh. Apparently, there's a. Oh, uh, today I, I went affiliate. Philly anniversary. Yay! Uh, back to 69 monthly listeners. Nice. Shout out to affiliate. Uh, thanks to affiliate, uh, you can uh, people can donate me money, or something like that. Either way, it's it's like an upgrade. Uh, you have to do some steps to get it. But yeah. It's, it's just an anniversary. But yeah. Not allowed to get a... You're not allowed to get a PC. What? Why? Shout out to Tallinn, uh, Estonia. Shout out to uh, Brisbane, uh, Australia. Shout out to uh, Phoenix, USA. Shout out to Sandef for... Uh... Norway? Never heard of that place. Wait. Send the way. It is Norway. Good guess. Sandia Fjord. That's probably how you pronounce it. Sandia Fjord. Uh, and shout out to New Delhi. Uh, India? New places, hold on. That is in India. Hey. Love all y'all as always. Uh, your dad never wants us to get anything other than alcohol, food, water, and soda. Alcohol is crazy. We get some clothes, he gets angry. What? Weird. Oh well. It is what it is. Daily on uh, TikTok crunch. Alice, this is not my son. What? This is a. You don't care if he says anything. I mean, I guess, yeah. White child! He's just pale. You're cheating on me, aren't you? Huh? Ain't y'all both white? Cheated on you. Crazy. Nah, that's crazy. Say I read it, though. Vine boom is all. If you're gonna cheat, you cheat right, I guess. But what is this? What is this? What? I don't know. 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 Bro, who is this guy? What the heck is happening? What the heck is happening? That's what I'm saying. Um, wanna know why your dad thinks your Xbox broke? Sure. You installed viruses? I mean, it's still possible if you do like a... Uh... I don't know, like a... Cracked game or something, or like... Does it have a USB stick thingy? I mean, it's still possible, but... Way less than a, like a PC or a phone. <laughs> oh shit, bro's the main character the whole time. Good work. What? What a- what? 27 hearts though, crazy. And one bookmark. Appreciate the love. And one comment.
Appreciate the life. You only installed games from a Microsoft Store and got real CDs. I mean, yeah, he's a moron then. I could be your friend. Fucked up there. Friend. Yeah. Cool. Bro, friend sound himself. It's Jover. Right now. Oh. Shut up and kiss me. Over. Yeah, that's sus. Didn't even go to a date. Usually skip this part. Right. Ready? It will be being their fault if your Xbox broke from viruses because they're buying your games. Oh, wait, they're even buying your games. Eh? Okay, that's like extra dumb. <laughs> they even know that they're buying legit games. Why would there be a virus? Hey, yo. Pause. She got a whole car stick down there. Yo. That was my penis you felt. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you can tell. I'm sorry. W will you be mine? Yes. Did bro just propose? Yeah, yeah you're cooked. crazy. Marriage is a scam. But like, bro already proposed. married, dad. That ain't gonna happen. Don't you dare bring that up to me again. It's not gonna happen to my bloodline besides you a high school boy! What's so Bloodline. wrong with this, Dad? I could be your friend. It's a six and hearts, one bookmark, appreciate it. And of course, in the comments, we got Takis. Because of my dreads, probably. I feel like, bro, Takis itself, like, they're so overrated. It literally tastes like ass. Every time some device you had, and it broke, he said viruses. It can't be just malfunction. Or whatever the fuck. If you use something long enough, at some point it's gonna break. Taki sucks, that's what I'm saying. Like, sure, it's hot, but the, the, the taste is literally dog shit. Like, I don't get it why people will eat it. I like spicy food, spicy chips and snacks. But the taste is literally dog shit, but whatever. Lover, don't you dare. You're a sinner. I can't believe you wake up in the morning and look yourself in the neck, mirror yeah. and think it's everything's okay. So southern all of a sudden. Yeah, he's actually changed. Keep telling him it can't be only viruses, but he talks over you saying viruses. I mean, classic drunk, uh, yeah, alcoholic. Alcoholism. She's gone, Dad. Damn. And she would approve of this. I love him too. We are happy together. Don't you ever bring him back here! You hear me? Get rid of him! She has a penis! A penis! Pink you and I, we're men of God! Get rid of her. Murder? Get the hell out of my house, lady boy. Lady boy. Get! Lady you don't talk boy. to her that way! Her! Who drinks like that? That's facts. <laughs> Bro, just drank half of that. Yeah. Um. Uh, sip. Yeah. Lover. George. Seven hearts. A. Hey, we fell off, but a. Hey, still appreciate it. We about to fell off even more. Hold on. Oh, we actually went up. Wasn't expecting that. Ten hearts, one bookmark. I'll take it. This is so disrespectful. You're not a real X or Juice fan. You can go, oh, fuck yourself, uh, right now. Talk about this is disrespectful. Shut the fuck up. We never fell off. Just people forget to like. Yeah. I mean, that that's the mentality. Facts. Did want to continue this game.
That guy who said you're disrespectful, how about you go die in a ditch instead? <laughs> okay. Bro, if anything, I'm literally like reminding people of X and Juice, bro. Disrespect is crazy. <laughs> Overwhelmed by the forces of the Why enemy, is it so loud? cut off from their ships, the Northmen had oh to escape. Days. Those no. who did not retreat in time lost their lives or became captives. Once harsh invaders looking for prey, yeah. the Northmen suddenly became prey themselves. Luckily, they found salvation in a nearby forest. Which became their temporary shelter. Wait, I'm starting all over again. Here, they could no catch way. a moment of respite from the pursuing Britons. Here, Jarl Ulf uh. Ironbeard, who suffered injuries during the fight, could heal his wounds and recover. Wow. However, a new problem arose for the people of the North. Two faced. In order to survive and to have any okay, chance I... to join the rest of the expedition against Lindisfarne. Thank you. I don't know. It saved. Just a reminder, I guess. Well, now it's not that loud. Why was it like e rapey ish? Whatever. Boomin! Spearman! You moron! Hi, brothers! Fuck this. I'm the devil! Let's go. I don't need that. You can't claim your lien and you can't even make any rewards. Wait, what? Why? That's not normal. Move! Move! We gotta secure? Fix it? Oh. Good to see you. I saw a party of bricks heading in that direction. They want our wood. We need it Pause. to repair ships and build siege machines. <laughs> We need to secure this wood camp at all costs. Collect wood. Pause. Um. I just. This way. Then. I just. 29K. This Let's way. go. I just realized today I'm cosplaying as critical, but with dreads. Al alternative critical. Move. Um, I guess waking up in the morning won't be the that hardest. That should be thing enough. Today. Hey, yo, what? Yeah, pause. Build a trap. Like the wind. Um. How's that gonna work? Building assignment. Bread. Okay. Bread is good. Oh, they will be here any minute. Take positions. It's an upstairs. They are coming. Prepare for battle. Let's go there. Let's, Let's go there. there. Ready to fight. Quickly. There. I just hurry up. Spearman. What kind of trap is this? Useless. Brug Burger. Warriors. Move slowly. Spear. Duke yeah, trap. Let's go there. Ready to fight. They will die. Let's get there fast. If it's on Victory discount, will I get City Skylines? No. Shells. I don't really play city games. I'm sorry. Spear. Sure. I'm ready. Wait, talk about discounts. Um, I did post on Discord. Um, uh, but. What? 
Listen up, Spear. Oh, what Jackbox game should should I get? It has a discount. Spearman getting better. So it could have even more uh, games to play. Pose of the Lord. Sure, I'm ready. Spears, listen. Now we're dying. A what? Literally looked like we bad at Lewis, but I guess not. This is how I joined the Northmen in their raid There's on like Lindisfarne. Ethel had held me captive for months, Do your own and that was my chance uh, to get even. When Jarl Ulf Ironbeard regained his strength and we collected enough supplies, we could finally head on to join the rest of the expedition. However, the road to Lindisfarne was not an easy one. Every once in a while, we encountered Ethel's troops. Our supplies ran out faster than we were able to loot the surrounding villages. It was then that the scouts noticed an approaching caravan with food and weapons. We prepared an ambush, not expecting that someone else was preparing to attack it as well. But yeah, there's like 10 games, but in every all uh, Jackbox games, there are like five games in there. So, I don't know, do your own research. I'm not about to just show you all the games. Do your own research, man. We got the third one. We're under attack! Godric ready! What the? Listen up, Spear! What the? Yes. I mean, you have YouTube. Oh. Rug Burger. I'm here! <laughs> Are we sure? My brothers! Thank you. Just Jackbox Party Pack, one to ten, I think. I don't think there's a eleventh one. Discount promo codes. What? Warriors. <laughs> Godric ready. Winning. Ready to fight. I think we're winning. Now you're good. Yeah. Slaughter all of them. Last one standing. Cooked. You're lucky yeah. we were close. They might have killed you. Come, let's talk to Haradgar, chieftain. Who are you, people? We are loyal to the past king, Osred II. Betrayed by the new king, Aethelred. We're waiting here to retaliate. And you? Careful These are now. Northmen who have been beaten during their raid near Bambara. Now they have to join their forces near Lindisfarne. Linda, huh? Keep your eyes open!
evolution of trailers? And the road to Lindy's farm is blocked. We will help you take the enemies down, but we need supplies first. There are two villages nearby. Let's force peasants to gather food and wood for us. I mean, I guess you can see from the trailers. Uh, seek the woods nearby. The enemies will surely try to reclaim the villages. Uh, take some of our soldiers with you. Ain't there like a Jackbox packs reviews or something? Oh no. Give you an ad that shows you the discounts. No. What's your food aid? Well, that's not it. Might as well heal. Uh, where are you going? Remember, you can always retreat here to oh. gather reinforcements. Spears, listen! Spears, what listen! So we're all good? Tread carefully! I'm kind of confusion. Ah, wood. We need wood. Move with caution. They're attacking Shots. us. I'm ready. Where? Always ready. Spears, listen. There you go, 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 there you go. Don't get it twisted. Uh, Brock Burger. Spearman! Form up! What the fuck are you doing? Help, jackass. We're moving to combat! Enemy is upon us. We're just chilling and watching us die. Songs of honor. Uh, attack. Right. We've got eyes on the enemy. They just spawn. You serious? Always ready. My warriors are dying. Fuck going on? Can I spot? Yes, I can. You moron! We're good. Spam. I'm late. Slept the whole day. Nah, it's fine. I am uh, cosplaying as critical today. I'll stop. Oh, uh, but yeah. The Jackbox uh, party packs, they have like a this discount. Way. I don't know if you have like a favorite pack no to choose. Mercy. I'd buy one. Always oh, sure. So you know we have other party games to play.
Jackson for whatever reason wants a Twitch account when you try to play with other streamers. It could only be oh Jackbox. The spectator. Wait. Oh, that's for extra security. I have it off. That's why uh, from other streamers they could have it on. Should I have it on? I feel like it's kind of pain in the ass though. I mean, yeah, extra security. So you'd know who to ban if they do something, I guess. I don't know. It looks like a good place to hide. Count the button doesn't work. Oh. oh Go back to base, heal up. Pull back! Quickly! Watch yourselves up! Alright. Ben! Get ready! Where are you? My brother. Time to move! Since you can't put your account, you will always say L for having extra security. <laughs> what is that part? I mean, I don't know. I kind of get it why to have it. I mean, especially if you're like family friendly. I don't know. Spear! But yeah, it is annoying. Move carefully! Much work for less viewers and less fun. Advance slowly! Yeah. Steal some food. Attack with caution. Got some hoes over there. Let's kill them. Oh yeah. You ain't ready for this. Proceed slowly. I got a whole ass army. Watch your footing. Can you, my uh, bro? Water, they don't. Bro, that is AI slowly. is dumb. Leave nothing but ashes. Move carefully! Leave nothing but ashes! Tread okay, carefully! Thanks. What do you think you should get a link? And you and I, if someone else is here, you decide. I mean, Sabin was here. I don't know if he's still here. I think he went off to the side. I feel like that will take a lot of time, though, to decide on stream. No? Advance slowly! There's like 10, uh, 10 packs. Attack, but do not and every pack has like five games. Spear. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, one pack. We have we already have the third pack. I'm here. Yeah. So five more extra games we can play. There you go. They will die. Moving out. Can they heal here? What is that? And see each pack with some links for reaction. I why like they're healing, but they're walking away. 
That shit dumb as fuck. Like, where are we going? And you found yourself Time an enemy. <sighs> Brug Burger. It looks like a good place to hide. Yeah. Are y'all sir? My brothers. What are we doing? Everyone, hello? Quick, we're moving up fire! Yeah. Warriors! I'm done waiting! Like, Project what are ready. we doing? Like, what are we sitting for? Holy shit. Like, what? Yes, listen! <clears throat> for the god! Yeah, we're good. Burger, whatever. Ship gone. Ben! I think we're getting cooked here. Spearman! Listen up, warriors! At least we're getting some help. We're really getting encircled here, kind of. There we go. That book's party pack six is the best. Six. Oh, you were gone now. Spam is checking as well. Okay. We'll see. Shields! Spear! Spear! the help Man. Form up. what are you died another where you died yep Perfect. Spear. Spear. another one died my axe is ready Y'all locked in? Elite unit. Oh shit. Y'all leveling up. Okay. Murder party 2 2. Victory is ours! No. I mean, yeah, but the third one has murder party, murder party one. I think. So it's an upgraded murder party. They wouldn't put the same game. It, it's like upgraded. Form up! Has to be, surely. Moving out! Listen up, warriors! Uh, probably Take heal. Care of your there you go. 
Three has first. Yeah. Six has second. Yeah. Any more mini games? Yeah. Like, where are they going? Break. Shields. Right back. All right. Shields on your face. I'm Should done work? waiting. I think we can. One more. Okay. Wait, one of the unit died, right? Six out of six now. Before it was six out of six. Make some babies. Spears ready for combat! There we go. Spearman! Watch your footing! Run! Welcome back. Move oh. carefully. There we go. Can <laughs> like five hundred people join already? Tread if carefully. Only, man. If only. Listen up, warriors! Spear! Watch your footing! Bam! Let's hide over there! Your doom has begun! Move with caution! At least 20? I mean, bro, even 10 would be amazing. 10 per stream? I'm here! That'd be great. Burn! Pillage Warriors. has begun. Destroy the building. Where my other? What the? F Listen up, spear. Burn it to the ground. They're coming all the way around. We got eight sometimes, but people leave immediately. Yeah. Maybe because. Burn it down. You started kind of spamming messages. I don't know. That could be it. Fire Holy shit, we're getting, we're, getting we're, getting we're getting cooked. 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 Please. Attack now. There you go. Lock in. All of them. I mean, yeah. True. But still, I don't know. Doubled up. Their mounts with ads. Nothing bad. I mean, fill their mounts with ads. On the double. Attack! Ah, bone. If you say so. Capturing villages. Oh, we can take over. That's cool. So I burned those houses down for no reason. Or listen up, reinforcements. Spirit. Attack, but do not charge. Charge. 
going to the beach with your kind of crush is insane though. I mean, yeah. Good luck, though. Listen up, Spear. It's confirmed. What's confirmed? Sure, I'm ready. Listen up, Spear! Leave nothing Spearman. but Burn this shit down. Leave nothing but ash! Out of the beach. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's so bad. Only with family? I guess? Nothing but ashes. W pillage. Spears, listen. Leave nothing but ashes. Not really capturing or burning this shit down, but okay. Daisy. Eh. Burn it to the ground. No. Recruit peasants. Wait, what? Oh, we rebuilt it. What? Do it. We can also use villagers to recruit more warriors. Yep. Play what I want. Listen up, Spear. Move with caution. Yeah, it is mine now. So there is no point of pillaging all this shit. Brug Burger, man. Spear! It sucks you need to redo mark days because it'll take a long time to get a PC. Huh? I guess. Spearman, get ready! Spearman! Don't draw attention. Sure. Oh, we got food over here. Spears, listen. All resources points are full. Uh huh. Godric. We should probably heal. Spearman. Spear. Go. Oh, y'all good? Spear, spear. All right, lock in. Where to? Down here. Move carefully. Bet. Leave nothing but ashes. Move carefully. Time to get cooked, hoes. Kill them! Go rush! Move with caution! Oh no. They're spamming their shits. Probably save. Never know. Hmm. 
Damn, bro. I cannot move at all. Get the fuck out of my way, bro. Proceed slowly. There you go. There you go. No more throwers. Spear. Godric ready. Listen up, Spear. Ah, oh, shit ready. in my eyes. Ben, listen up, Spear. Spear. More throwers. Go rush. Yes. Where the fuck did you come from? I don't care. That works. If it works, it works. Yo, get cooked. Pussy boy. Better throw shit at, uh, at us. Kinda shitty position. Yes, listen. <sighs> but what can we do, I guess? I'm here. Capture this bitch. Kill that! Go rush! You got it. From the back. Pause. Yeah, they're getting cucumber now. Oh. Who's shooting? Oh, the house. No, we're good. One of our homies died. We're fine, though. Surely. Level up. Oh, yeah. Good on reinforcements. Move with caution. Yeah. Leave nothing but action. Yeah. Everyone, get in here. Burn it to the ground. There you go. <laughs> now, let's make these pitiful peasants work for us. No, oh, let's do that. If I do that, we'll get a, a homie from here. Ben! Spear! Ben! Spear! Spear! Fire! Spear! Rest. And they get birth? 
Get ready! Spearman, get ready! Um, Spearman! no. Tread carefully! They did not give birth. Ah, good, good. We have resources. The only thing left is to get better equipment. We need to capture the iron mine and craft ourselves better armors. Only then we can assault the outpost. I'll send one squad with you. Appreciate it. Captured the iron mine. Spearman! Attention! Breaking car! Bro, you can send me a tired army. What's wrong with you? Dumbass. Are they... I think they're done. Looks sus. Always ready to fight! Listen up! Spear! 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 Everyone, move carefully. Get in here. They won't see us there. Let's, you know, gather everyone together at first. I don't want to cut myself. A lot of dead bodies. Okay. Wolf over here. Ready for war. Godric, I see you. Slow air, bro. What are you doing? What going on with you? This AI bomb. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Attention! Listen up, Spear! Men! Men! Listen Always up, Spear! Always ready. ready! Forward! There. March! Let's go! Or some. They are heavily fortified. I am missing our lost archer's squad. They shouldn't be far away. Yeah, we would need archers ASAP. So where are the archer squad? My brother. You say you're sending an archer squad. Where's the archer squad? I can't move. Brug Burger. Listen up, Spear! Spear! Spearman! Shields! I, I guess we're just... There's no other way? No. I... Forward charge! Attack! Attack!
There you go. Put your shields up. So, um, where the archer is at? Huh? You say you're gonna give me archers. Where are the archers at? My brother. My brother. Like, can you move? I'm gonna send the archers. Yeah. Nice sending. Sticks in my eyes. Fuck it, we don't need it. Push through, we got this shit. We're Vikings after all. They're shooting at us. Actually, our main leader is kind of dying. Uh, Brug Burger. Save just in case. Attack, yeah. but don't push it. You're not looking too good. Would really like that archer now. Proceed slowly. Spearman under fire. Attack with caution. Can you get the second archer? Spear under fire. Guess no. Uh, Godric, uh, you gotta chill, my man. I got, yeah, you, you, you got, you gotta retreat and heal, my guy. Moving out. You're not looking so well. Spearman. Oh, you can just heal right there. Shut up. Spear. Spear what are you doing, cut? One man army. Sure. You go, Godric. You got it. Always sure. Infantry. Anyone? Can you light up the fucking tower? There you go. Now was it that fucking hard? No, it wasn't. Fear, bitch. I'm here. Always oh, sure. Should have used the abilities. I forgot about them. Maybe 
Thanks as always. Trust you more than myself. Okay. I mean, save and check. He said the sixth one. Oh no. these two a guy even worse oh no how did it went even worse save the looks toilet paper 32 rulli by 1999 bar storm we may a good guess 99 euros Mr. Beast's team has finally responded to the allegations and it is not looking good. So quick recap, the main allegations towards Mr. Beast are number one, manipulating and faking the game show videos to favor certain contestants, such as maybe friends and employees over others, even when it involves lots of prize money. Number two, allegedly conducting legal lotteries during his t-shirt signing events. Number three, treating the Feastables chocolate bar more like lottery tickets rather than an actual product and promoting it as healthy at first and then changing the formula while marketing it towards children. Number four, allegedly being aware of Chris Tyson's very shady behavior towards minors. And number five, having a management disaster in his new Beast Games Amazon show where several people are claiming that they were injured, denied food and medication, and in general treated very poorly. I actually interviewed some of the contestants who reached out to me oh. after my videos and they wanted to stay anonymous, but let's just say they oh. were not happy. Now, it turns out a member of Mr. Beast's team named Chucky messaged Why me on Twitter stay, claiming what? to deep Why stay anonymous though? Bunk the allegations in Dog Pack's video saying that Dawson was just a salty employee. Now, according to his Twitter bio, Chucky is the co founder of ViewStats and runs the Mr. Beast Ideas and Chuck Thumbnails team. But it seems like Chucky is also his PR team, considering he's messaging anyone who made videos about Mr. Beast, trying to get them to swap sides here. So let's check out this tweet that Chucky made, so called debunking the allegations. I quickly want to debunk some of the info in this video since the guy who made it was on my my team this response is horrible even you can't fall for it it was my decision to fire him for erratic behavior he worked at the company for less than a month and wasn't an employee on most of the videos he mentions to have knowledge on there's so much in his video and i want to specifically address him saying that our videos are fake or staged because this is not true and is on set for many of these videos you would think that chucky is going to address the five main allegations that i laid out at the start of this video right Turns out, uh, Chucky starts talking about whether or not a guy winked or if a raccoon is a paid actor or something. Like, all the most insignificant garbage what? that nobody actually cares about. You won't get- uh, Bro's response is horrible. Oh yeah, I already read. Brock Burger. Bro is like, yeah, trust get me, Get in a bro. video unless your family or friends are someone that works at Mr. Beast. This is a wild statement that can easily be proven wrong. There's probably hundreds or thousands of people who have no affiliation to friends or family of Mr. Beast employees. Think about the 456 people in Squid Game or ages 1 to 100. Yeah. Jimmy doesn't know more than like a dozen people, lol. Okay, first off, Jimmy obviously knows more than a dozen people. He has like 50 YouTubers friends already, all right? True. So nice job, Chucky. Already made a mistake. Second, I don't think anybody cares if some of the people in Mr. V's videos are random, okay? In fact, it's actually worse that some people are random and some people are... 
Like, it should be all random. Or, like, subscribers. I'm finishing a lot of responses with lol. Maybe not trust him. True. Our employees or friends of Mr. That Beast. Is because us. there is video evidence that the Mr. Beast team favors certain contestants and manipulates the game shows. For example, in the 100 Boys vs. Girls video, Mr. Beast pays the one guy You're from laughing, the guy's yeah. team that can solve the Rubik's Cube to actually leave, meaning the girl's team would have a way higher chance of winning. So that is literal manipulation of the results. Not to mention some of the contestants work hmm. for him, and obviously that will shift the odds in any team-based game if one of Mr. Beast's employees just randomly leaves, right? Like Mac in that one video. The train track was CGI, the bus wheels are CGI, the pit is fake. He acts like exposing us for using CGI to make backgrounds look cool when we have done multiple public behind the scenes videos with So Crispy showing this. It's clearly not a secret. On top of that, we did drag buses in that pit and same with the train that you claim we didn't. Listen, Chucky, 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 all right? You are dodging all the main accusations of Dogpack's video. You're just addressing the dumb little stuff that nobody cares about. Nobody cares if Mr. Beast uses CGI in some of his videos, okay? Some of the points in Dawson's video were to build a bigger picture for the more serious accusations. It's the first video on his channel. It's not going to be perfect, all right? You did first not address video, the main damn. allegations like the illegal law. What a way to go, though. First video. The Mr. Beast allegations. Lotteries, dude. The raccoon was a paid actor. Wow. I don't even know what to say about this. Clearly not an actor, lol. Somebody put up the face palm. Or uh, what a way to start. Do you know what a joke is, Chucky? This is... Okay, this this is pathetic. I don't nice even know story, what the yeah. hell I'm reading. I can see why you're not actually on the PR team, all right? You should have stuck to your job, buddy. Island costs more than a dollar. Not true. We did pay on one dollar for this island. You can Google Mr. Beast purchases Outer Banks Island for one dollar, which stated this before the video was released. He moved into a mansion two months before being in a video, a million dollar mansion. He talks about how two months before we filmed the first Mac video that he moved into a mansion. Mac was staying at a friend's house, and I'm not sure how that proves anything or why it's relevant. The reason it's relevant is that it completely destroys the narrative that Mac is like a struggling person whose life is going to change once he wins this yeah. life-changing Mr. Beast money. Like, when bro behind the scenes, money. Mac was always chilling because he got bajillionaire Mr. Beast as his buddy who would pretty much do anything for him, right? Not to mention Mr. Beast favors Mac over many of the contestants. It's pretty obvious. One of the challenges, Mac literally just got out first on purpose and was awarded a car. Yeah, a car for getting last place it seems because Yeah, true. How to play with emotions. Yeah. A manipulator. I think that's Obviously, the Obviously, beforehand, word. something must have been scheming. Maybe Mr. Beast told him, oh, get out first. I'll give you a car. That is likely, likely what happened. Because how else is he going to know, right? This wink was added in post. Bruh, he really did a wink. This is a flat-out lie again. Bruh, bruh, put the bruh sound effect. Bruh, bruh. Imagine having allegations of conducting illegal lotteries, promoting gambling to kids, and all these other horrid things, right? And then you got Chucky on your team who responds with, but, but did this person really really wink did they actually close their eyes halfway or was it real or fake dude way to deflect absolutely everything congrats you made it 10 times worse for mr beast here the revenge storyline was added in post he implies that 42 and 58 were scripted and not real the contestants themselves have talked about this on streams they did after the video they legit did not like each other he also claimed 58 was on the far opposite side and didn't hear him just because he was on the other side of the room, you don't think 58 heard him yell? How on earth would he know? Okay, so you're not denying it and you're not even saying that, oh, they definitively knew. You're like, you're basically saying, how would he know? It's called an educated guess. It's called... Because uh, doing good in a horrible world, people get emotional and will support you. Now, if you ever see similar people like Mr. Beats, you will always be vigilante. Or... Yeah, so stout. Yeah. Called, you know, providing proof and evidence and trying to back it up like that. Unlike what you've done here, you've just been like, uh, trust me, bro. You Deviant. This ain't a house with no love, no. Uh -huh. This ain't a house with no love. Or suspicious.
kohta. Ja. Särisevad pakkumised leiad loomulikult koopist. Selle nädala täht on Talleg juustumarinaadis broileri rinnafile lõkk 800 grammi, vaid 5,99. Kohalikud grillivad. You have provided zero, zero evidence. Sorry for getting heated, man. This is just annoying. You have provided zero evidence for what you've said. Dogpack at least cites portions from the videos he talks about and provides some some sort of evidence for his allegations. Meanwhile, you're like, trust me, bro. I work yeah. for Mr. Beast. It just didn't trust happen. Me. How on earth can we trust you when Mr. Beast is paying your salary? No and facts, you no got... proof. Trust me, bro. Bro, stupid ad. You will never have a family. Why you show me a... <laughs> Okay, bro. Zero proof for anything. Like, Base. I don't know, bro. A screenshot, a voice recording, like anything. Yeah. Maybe get the people on. I mean, you're part of the Mr. Beast team. You can get, you can make a one hour long video. In fact, you guys specialize in making videos, yet you can't make a video responding to this. You don't even have to do it on the main channel, on, a, on like a separate <laughs> channel. He has like 50 channels. Come on, on one of them, post a response. The only reason you wouldn't is if you're admitting guilt here, have... all right? And you're responding to a one hour long video in a single tweet. That is just not acceptable and you have to address the major points. Otherwise, people are not going to buy it. Not only were the results of this video completely scripted, but the contestants are not random subscribers. He claims our 100 boys versus 100 girls video is scripted, and the proof is a random text saying it is. That's it. It was not scripted. Jimmy probably had countless people on set for that video, and it would have been impossible to hide. The video was not scripted. Yeah. I was on set for this, and there was no bias for who won. Okay, Chucky, we need to talk. There is no bias for who won. Now you're just lying and I wasn't even there and I can tell because we can see in Mr. Beast's final edited video that there was bias with the Rubik's Cube thing that I just pointed out. Mr. Beast even says in the video something along the lines of, I paid the guy who can solve, you know, the Rubik's Cube to leave. That is literally bias. He is favoring the girls team in that clip. Do you have any idea what you're talking about, Chucky? Can you stop glazing him for, for one second? Also, now many people in older videos of Mr. Beast now make comments saying, Oh, this didn't age well. Yeah. And open I've your eyes, some. Mr. Chuck. He also implies that the video is fake because we have some employees on each team. The employees in the video were there to fill in for people who tested positive for a uh, thing last minute right before filming. Thea, Jimmy's girlfriend, mentioned this on a podcast over a year ago. If it wasn't for sickness, they would have not sickness. been in it. They had the same money on the line as everyone else. Some random text of someone thinking it was rigged doesn't mean it's rigged, lol. Okay, so you admit there were employees in the team. It doesn't really matter if you put them there because somebody was sick. It still greatly affects the video by having Mr. Beast controlled puppets installed into the teams who can rig the yeah. competition in their own way right? Because they work for Mr. Beast, all right? Yeah. And in these kind of game shows, it kind of needs to be fair for everybody because there's actually like to. laws regarding this. Yeah. So there's clearly some element of rigging the competition because a lot of the employees seem to just randomly leave without actually putting in their full effort, right? And now each team will have unequal uh, active members, which obviously tips the scale of balance, right? He also suggested the real-time video is fake. This is not fake. It was... Yeah, and this is why like people are not really dedicated because they, they're already linked with b better, uh, I don't know, friends, stuff, co-workers. That's why they don't really take it seriously. Because they're not, they're not like random, uh, normal people who have like normal jobs and shit. Welcome back. It was a nightmare to make this video and it was legit filmed in 10 minutes. Amazing defense. It's not fake, guys. Source? Trust me, bro. Trust me. I was actually there. I actually yeah. worked for Mr. Beast. You don't have a source. You have zero evidence. Not even a five-year-old. Tomorrow, Fnaz becomes 10 years old. Ah, bro. Yippee. There you are. You disappear every time you come. <laughs> who believes in Santa is buying that that video was real, so all right? Also, I think some of the Mr. Beast giveaways are yeah. fake. We do not fake giveaways. I've been hands-on with some of them and have personally been the person to connect winners with our accounting department to get paid. He also suggested we didn't spend $1 million on Samsung phones, and I can assure you we did another lie from you. 
Okay, so just because you didn't fake Another some of the giveaways doesn't mean that all of them were Says legit. You. Why are there so many people complaining on places like Reddit that they didn't get the stuff they were promised? In fact, listen, I get the fact that some people are sore losers or just salty and, I mean, you know, yeah, they might be true. making up stuff to take Mr. Beast down or something like that. But the amount of people coming out with these accusations is a bit ridiculous. And a lot of the yeah, other no accusations proof. are backed up by evidence. So I don't know. We're all just supposed to trust you for some reason. I you never knew? Oh, well, I did. I could keep going, but I don't want this to be <clears throat> long. You should have kept going, please. Dawson himself said on... Oh, TikTok Live. Oh, I didn't know that, though. Is Prime worth it? No. Literally, piece of garbage. Reddit that he was on shrooms and overhyped weed when filming this video, which might explain some of the made up stuff. It's nothing special. Was it's shit. There are videos explaining why it is shit. Yeah. Only employed from March 25, 2024, and was let go on April 19, 2024. He was on a 90 day trial, and we ended it early and paid him out on June 25, as we guaranteed the 90 days of pay so he could transition into a new job. I'd appreciate it if everyone reading this could help dispel all this fake rumors by spreading this info. Don't worry, Chucky, yeah, I'm spreading fake. this info. I read out your entire <laughs> statement start to finish. You should be thanking me, Chucky. Jimmy spends uh, unfathomable amounts of money and time to ensure the integrity of what he does and i hate to see it come into question with a bunch of lies dawson if you leave this up then you're a hypocrite no actually chucky you're just a paid shill for mr beast and when i asked you in dms for clarification regarding these allegations yeah. what did you do that's right you didn't even respond it's been over two days i'm waiting for a response i gave you a chance to respond and clearly you had nothing to say about stuff like the illegal lottery because a lot of the stuff is indefensible and has a ton of proof now dawson actually responds to this tweet with his own debunking of the debunking so we'll get to that soon but first we gotta check out the replies fake signatures fake lotteries rigging competitions employee who keeps winning promoting gambling to kids changing ingredients and feasibles to make them very unhealthy and rigging the chocolate factory competition being exposed for the hide and seek competition and more all had evidence you responded to the most mildest criticisms no, and jokes it's like well, normal a couple chocolate. problems with the statement for i mean it's like normal cheap chocolate that's how it tastes like just a lot of your evidence is just it didn't happen lol trust me bro basically just a he said she said type of situation yeah, you're all part of the biggest youtube channel out there you have a responsibility to be ethical exactly and the reason a lot of people are caring about this is because Mi mr beast is an influence on 300 million people all right he influences an entire generation all right and yeah. we got to make sure the top guy is clean okay biggest issue is that mr b has concocted a business that gets 10 year old kids addicted to gambling by associating it with dopamine hits coming not only from gambling but also from chocolate okay so dog pack or dawson has responded here debunking your debunking generations from different countries too yeah there were hershey's in romania you think there's none i haven't seen a hershey's in estonia as well it's just american thing Good character assassination attempt. You guys leave out my unpaid trial period and also my time working for idea guys. A it's a chocolate bar or something like that. Company for which Mr. Beast is a client. The founder of Idea Guys also had to get permission from Mr. Beast to hire me. So weird, you guys wouldn't tell him I was erratic. Also, weed and shrooms was an obvious joke. Nah, nah, nah. Chucky is allergic to sarcasm. He only speaks one language, and that's the ancient dialect of Mr. Beast glazing 24-7. Jimmy doesn't know more than like a dozen people. You expect people to believe this? How many people do his employees know? Who was the contestant in Train vs. Pit? How about Lambo vs. Shredder? How did Ava's cousin Justin get into the chocolate factory video or Della vlogs? CGI is clearly not a secret. Okay, cool. So when Jimmy was accused of using too much CGI in Train vs. Pit, why did he deny it on Twitter? Mm. The raccoon was you know a paid actor. <laughs> Bro, you expect people to believe no. Chris and Chandler were just petting a wild, actual wild raccoon? From your own Appreciate source in the island, the transfer yes. tax was $1. The company also paid $27 yeah. in tax and fees, and you leased it back to the owner. 
so that's $28. I feel like this is a minor point, but considering Chucky bought it up, I understand why he's refuting this. The wink was added in post. It was. Compare that wink to the contestant's other winks in the other scenes or none of his TikToks. His mouth always partially opens, but that doesn't happen here because in the original footage, it was a blink altered to match the false revenge narrative. I hate how Dawson has to respond to these absolutely tiny inconsequential things that Chucky bought up. It's just annoying. Like, we should be focusing on all the major accusations here. Interesting how yeah. you didn't mention altering the timers or contestant dialogue in post. Hmm. I think it's because these are pretty undeniable, honestly. Not only were the results of this video completely scripted, but the contestants are not random subscribers. You acknowledge that the contestants were not random subscribers, but refuse to acknowledge the clear rigging, which can be seen multiple times on camera. Please watch Upper Echelon's video analyzing case law regarding this rigging. Also, I've now heard from people on the boys team that they were fed much later than the girls, and the production was clearly favoring the girls. This is a typo. Upper Echelon's video also yeah. goes into the alleged illegal lotteries, which he describes as seemingly completely indefensible. You conveniently forgot to address those as well. Now hide my reply, cause you're guilty. Okay, great response by Dawson here. Pretty much completely shut down Chucky. And honestly, the alleged illegal lotteries is really scary for Mr. Beast because yeah. I noticed they seem to be taking down any evidence of those live streams online. It was apparently uploaded on Facebook and has since been taken down as well, which is very suspicious. Facebook. You know, not making any accusations, but- Bro, who's used Facebook, bro? Very interesting oh, no. timing by the Beast team, you know, trying to sweep it under the rug, it seems. Now we gotta talk about the Beast game situation again, because turns out something fishy might be going on. Here's a tweet by Rosanna Pancino, popular YouTuber and one of the contestants in Mr. Beast's hide and seek game. Right. The first Mr. Beast Beast games video is being suppressed in every country outside the US on TikTok. Rosanna put out this video saying I'm being silenced hashtag beast games the first video I made about mr. beast and his beast games is being suppressed and restored <clears throat> if you're crazy and also you search up old videos that were called good and evil youtubers and mr. beast was on the good side yeah that aged well restricted on TikTok as of today I was simply wow. telling one of the contestants stories who talks about what appears to have been a very dangerous and mismanaged set. The video I posted is now only viewable in the US. It is blocked in every other country. As of right now, someone oh, is up, trying bitch. to silence me. I'll let what? you guys try and guess who would do something like that. If Mr. Beast continues to run the show like he has so far, I truly believe something tragic could happen. Okay, that is extremely weird to say the least. Why is that video being blocked in countries outside the US? I, I don't know, just sounds pretty sus, all right? Now, Rosanna also posted a video where she claims that someone- Why doesn't he actually do it correctly? Because it's easier. Uh, probably, or something. Oh no, weird. Yeah, profit and capitalism. So he gets more money. I don't know. Someone told her that Mr. Beast. Re He's greedy, I guess. I don't know. Requested Beast Games be non union. Päästä oma riide tuhmumisest uue Color Catcher Max Protectiga. Pesemise ajal võivad eraldubad värvid rikkuda ära üle jäänud riided, kuid Color Catcher imab need endasse ja hoiab ära riiete tuhmumise. Tõestus on lehel. Proovi kohe Color Catcherit. As I mentioned before, I'm in touch with crew members and people working on Beast Games. I've also been in contact with the people who are the IATSE union, both in Las Vegas, where the first week of oh. shooting happened, as well in Canada, where the next round will be shooting. They are the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees, and they represent the people behind the scenes who make TV shows and movies. They have over 168,000 members, and pretty much every large set I've ever been on it's IOTC Cruz, a higher up in the industry who I trust more than anything. They said that Jimmy and his team specifically requested that Beast Games be non-union, mainly so Jimmy wouldn't have to pay the crew benefits, but also these unions require very strict safety guidelines. Dear members of IOTC, Mr. Beast has been deemed an unfair production. As per section 12 of the constitution and bylaws, 
No member of IOTC is permitted to work on this production. No member of local shall work on any job that is declared unfair. He wants to hire union workers. He wants the quality, but he doesn't want to pay for them. In my opinion, mm. and from the stories that I've heard, Jimmy pays very little and did not want to cover people's benefits. Amazon gave Jimmy a hundred million dollars to make this game show. That is plenty of money to make a safe show. And I want to know where's the money going? Okay, oh. that is a serious accusation because Mr. Beast always parades around as a very generous, generous person, oftentimes just giving money randomly. So if it came out that he's trying to skirt past like safety rules and pay people less, it would be a massive scandal. But of course, as of now, I can't confirm any of this, but uh, yeah, it's interesting for sure. I think all Mr. Beast fans need to know about this situation for their own safety if they want to compete in one of these events and in general just having complete knowledge about the creators that they're watching, right? So if any news or drama creators who speak different languages are watching, please inform your audiences too about the situation. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Mr. Beast PR response and everything else. And stay tuned, there's a lot more to come. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Have a good help. Not a help of another capitalizes of people who suffer. Yep. Horrible. The Lost Generation, 1883 to 1900. If you generation. were born into this generation, you'd literally be celebrating your 17th birthday in front of the trenches, huddled down with mud covering your entire body as bombs and missiles fly across your head. Well, sadly, it was during this era that the nightmare and horror of World War I was in full swing, and everybody experienced the trauma and death that came with it. A whopping total of 8.5 million people lost their lives in this war, and another 21 million went home with irreparable injuries. As if growing up and losing all your friends I mean, and family in a war wasn't really. enough torture, they were once again hit with the Spanish flu pandemic of 1918 that killed over 50 million people worldwide. Honestly, it was like a morbid game of death and one thing was bound to kill you. And all Rocky. these constant L's threw this generation L's. into the early beginnings of the Great Depression, which yeah, consisted L, of a high rate of unemployment, insane abject poverty, and a general sense of hopelessness. These guys were called lost, not because they couldn't find their way home after a wild night out, but because after everything they went through, Lost was the perfect way to describe them. Well, nobody can blame them for calling themselves a Lost Generation, honestly. However, a lot of good still came from these guys. They were still able to reach within themselves and come up with people who made significant contributions to the world. Well, they have oh. Albert Einstein, who developed the theory of relativity, and Alexander Fleming, who discovered penicillin, who was also born they during did. this time. What? The Greatest Generation, 1901 to 1927. Have you ever seen a movie with the whole storyline based on the after effects of war? You know how there would always be an economic crisis and collapse and everybody that survived would literally be moving around confused and lost while trying to make sense of what is left of the world? Well, this is exactly what the greatest generation experienced throughout their time. Now, after World War I, the entire world was thrown into something called the Great Depression. And if you think what the world is going through now is bad, just wait till you hear how crazy it was was for these guys. Yeah. Even worse. This ain't a house with no love, my home. This ain't a house with no love, my home. Let's get a shit out of it. Kohvi pausik parim, parajad krõbe, küllluslikult kreemine, Kalevi uued kreemitäidisega küpsised. Võta üks magus hetk, tükike head Kalevilt. The Great Depression began with the stock market crash in October 1929, which wiped out millions of investors. You see, the entire economy took a nosedive faster than a seagull spotting a dropped hot dog at the beach. The unemployment rate was as high as 25%, and a total of 12,830,000 people were unemployed, which led to people losing their savings, homes, and widespread poverty and homelessness. And just when they thought life couldn't get any more depressing, they were hit with World War II. It was like the universe saying, hey, you know what would spice things up? Another world war. 
and sadly, young men were once again trading their dancing shoes for combat boots. This particular war was okay. way worse than the previous one and claimed the lives of over 60 huh. million people. Till today, it is known in history as the deadliest international conflict ever known to mankind. This was also the period that the Nazis decided that they were superior beings and killed over 6 million Jews during the Holocaust. Okay. After the horror of the war, the people who survived came back with a renewed appreciation for peace, democracy, and love after having witnessed the worst in humanity. They started rebuilding the economy once again with Alan Turing, who pioneered computer science and artificial intelligence, and Grace Hopper, who developed the first compiler for computer programming language, because of which today you are technically able to watch videos on no. my channel. The Silent Generation, 1928 to 1945. Have you ever wondered why your grandparent is such a strict, disciplined, no-nonsense man? Well, it might just be because they grew up as the silent generation, where the after-effects of World War II and the Great Depression shaped their entire lives. If you grew up in this period, you didn't just talk the talk, you would also walk the walk, even in the rain, in the sun, or in the snow, without complaining. Or if you did complain, you did it very quietly. You were born in an era that survived the worst economic- Am I the silent generation? The hell? I'll downturn, stop. so you were basically the people tasked with making the world better again. Imagine being in school and worrying more about rationing than recess. These guys didn't get to live or experience their childhoods to the fullest because they had to grow up so fast, learn to take responsibility, be yeah. frugal, and work hard out of necessity. You didn't do it because you felt like it, you did the work because you, you had, had to survive. This is why most people from this generation are super hardworking, strict, and very old-fashioned. You could say they they were into vintage before hipsters made it a thing. They Never became mind. called the silent generation not because they were mute, but because they were modest and didn't whine or complain about anything. While oh, modern well. social media encourages us to share every meal and mood, the silent generation would have probably seen a post about avocado toast and said, back in my day, we were lucky to have toast. What? Baby Boomers, Stroke 1946 to 1964. The story of the baby boomer generation began in the aftermath of World War II when soldiers returned home, love was in the air, and baby the young boomers, couples yeah. were working overtime in the bedroom. This generation is called the baby boomers because they were born in a period that saw an unprecedented number of births. It was like they took the passage from the Bible where God said, go forth and multiply, a little too seriously. It felt like someone flipped a switch from war God. to peace and then to procreate. Hospitals yeah. were busy. Nurseries were full, and the sound of cooing babies was the new national anthem. The baby boomers grew up during a time of great change and optimism. The economy was booming, much like the population, and houses were being built faster than you could say white picket fence. This generation saw the rise of rock and roll with Elvis Presley shaking things up on TV, just like we have TikTok challenges now. If you were a boomer, your childhood likely involved playing outside until the streetlights came on, riding bikes without helmets, and watching TV shows like Leave it to Beaver and I Love Lucy. One thing that sets boomers apart is their optimism. They grew up believing they could change the world, and in many ways, they did. They questioned authority, protested the optimistic. Vietnam War, were at the forefront of the women's liberation movement, and fought for civil rights. They were like the superheroes of... So I'm a lost baby boomer. Well, I'm doing I. Normal as always. Hope all you're doing good. Social change. Hey, yo, Minus what the, the fuck? case. Generation X. This time was the best time of economic life. 1965 Nine. to 1980. Good. Let's start with their name. Nine. Generation X. That's good. It sounds like a superhero team, right? But unlike the X-Men, these Xers oh, don't have superpowers, boomer, yeah. unless you count their ability to survive without the Generation internet and phones X. for most of their childhood as a superpower, which, let's be honest, it kind of is. Generation X are the ones who grew up with MTV, the original Star Wars trilogy, and the ever-present threat of nuclear annihilation. In short, they were I've the guinea pigs well. for modern pop culture and the end of the Cold War. One of the greatest traits of this generation was their independence. They're often called the latchkey kids because many of them came home to empty houses after school because their parents were busy working. This led to a generation that's self-reliant and adaptable. 
These guys entered the workforce during an economic downturn and are known for their resourcefulness and resilience. They witnessed the rise of the corporate ladder, but were also the first to truly embrace the concept of work-life balance. They're the generation that said, wait a minute, there's more to life than just work? And then promptly invented casual Fridays and telecommuting. They worked hard and played harder, often simultaneously, and were honestly the original side hustlers, juggling multiple jobs and gigs before it was seen as cool. This generation gave us men like Bill Gates, who's uh -huh. the co-founder of Microsoft, Steve Jobs. No. Co-founder of Apple, and Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon. Basically, Gen Xers were the cool aunt or uncle of Gen... Generations. They're old enough to remember life before smartphones, but young enough to explain memes to their parents. They've weathered economic ups and downs, technological revolutions, and the entire evolution of video game consoles. Millennials, 1981 to 1996. AKA Generation Y, AKA the digital natives. These are the people who were born during the rise of the internet, smartphones, and social media. If you were born during this time, then you can be comfortably called a master of adaptability because you've legit lived through it all. From dial-up internet, flip phone- Your mom is millennial ill? I think same here. Phones and smartphones, and you're probably still waiting for those promised flying cars. They're like the Swiss army knives of generations. Versatile, handy, and always ready for the next big thing. Millennials are right. also highly educated because their parents often encouraged them to enter college. Unfortunately, they entered the job market during or just after the Great Recession, which is about as fun as it sounds. This led to them being labeled as lazy or entitled, when in reality they were just trying to pay off student loans larger than the GDP of small countries. Millennials have Hi. also been accused of killing the housing market, but let's be real, the only thing they're killing is the idea that you need to own a home to be successful. They're more interested in collecting experiences than possessions, which explains why their Instagram feeds are full of travel photos and not pictures of lawns they've mowed. Technologically, millennials are the Goldilocks generation. Not too old, not too young, but just right. They're the generation that can explain to their parents how to use Facebook while simultaneously asking their younger siblings to explain what Snap... I guess I'm the only one who doesn't know uh, when my mom was born. Chat filters do. Bro, I'm, I have bad memory. I don't know anyone. I only know myself. At the end of the day, millennials are a generation of adaptation that has navigated the shift from analog to digital, from stable careers to the gig economy, and from Giga. traditional values to progressive ideals. They're like chameleons, blending into the ever-changing landscape with humor, resilience, and a Long smartphone in hand. Three. Generation Z, 1997 to 2012. Imagine a generation that literally grew up with smartphones in their cribs and Wi-Fi in their playpens. Known as Gen Z, this generation is the original digital gurus and has created and seen more memes than any other generation. If you are Gen Z, then you can probably communicate more effectively in emojis than in words. This generation oh, yeah. is so tech savvy to the core that if you handed them a rotary phone or flip phone, they would probably stare at it like it's an alien art. That's literally cap. Okay, never mind. I guess I'm not. I had a flip phone when I was a kid. In fact, because they grew up in an age where touch screens, voice assistants, and 24 7 internet connection were the norm. Gen Z's have never known a world without Google, which yeah, is simply cat. like having a tiny professor living in your pocket, except this one doesn't give pop quizzes or boring lectures. For Gen Z, research means scrolling through Instagram, and library is just a fancy word for that place with free Wi Fi. Social media is a way of life to this generation because they live and breathe platforms like TikTok, Instagram. Oh, I don't really care about social media, but...
Instagram, uh, Snapchat, and whatever the new app is trending this week. However, this isn't what this generation is all about. Gen Zs are actually a very socially conscious and intelligent bunch because they really care about climate change, social justice, mental health, and animal safety. This generation of kids is tackling big issues with the same fervor they use to tackle COD opponents. They have an ability to multitask and look for the easiest ways possible to get the work done, which makes them very resourceful, smart, and productive. Generation Alpha 2013 Oh Brain rot, here we go. To 2025. These little tykes are the first generation to be born entirely in the 21st century. Talk about starting life with a clean slate, or rather a clean touchscreen. They are set to inherit a world where AI, virtual reality, and smart everything are the norm. These kids don't just use tech, they wear it, eat with it, and probably dream in binary code. For Generation Alpha, technology what? isn't just a tool, it's an extension of themselves. While you might have to learn how to use a smartphone, <clears throat> these kids are practically coding in their cribs. Their toys are smart, their games are interactive, and their classrooms are virtual. Gen Alpha practically came out of the womb swiping and tapping. It's as if their first words were, hey Siri, instead of mama or dada. They're so tech savvy that they could That's probably bad, hack though. into your smart fridge before they learn to tie their shoes. They're likely to be even more eco-conscious and socially aware than their predecessors, driven by the challenges they see around them. They are going to revolutionize, well, everything. They're the AI-assisted, VR-enhanced, planet-saving superhero. Yeah, <clears throat> AI-assisted? They're two brain rots, so they use AI, do you think? We've been waiting for. Futuristic New Age. Your brother's AI, yeah. GG. Oh, now we're gonna have flying cars, right? Generation. Imagine a generation of kids growing up in a world where traffic jam means a bunch of flying cars stuck behind a flock of confused geese. Wow, I knew These it. kids would be asking the constant annoying, are we there yet, while soaring over city skyline. There would also be things like personalized jetpacks, which would literally become the new bicycle. Commuters will zip between skyscrapers, dotting holographic billboards and automated delivery drones. I mean, Rush Hour would basically look like a Chia Tick baller of human I mean, fireflies. These future kids yeah, won't have their sure. heads stuck on their phones or in the clouds because there will be Neuralink by this time. If you forgot to study for a test, then there's no need to panic. All you need to do is download the information straight into your brain. Schools would even offer thought loading sessions where students can absorb entire subjects in minutes. Beware though, because daydreaming in class might accidentally broadcast your crush to the entire school. With Neuralink, language barriers would also be ancient history. If you're lucky enough, someone might even decide the language of animals' language, so you can finally know what your- I mean, it would be useful, but like, bro, what if someone hacks in your brain? GG, bro. Cat really thinks of you. This generation would also witness a time when humans would develop colonies on Mars, which would be an exciting mix of cutting edge technology and age old problems. Some kids propaganda easy with this. Kids born there would even view Earth's blue skies and vast oceans as exotic travel destinations. Long distance relationships would take on a whole new meaning when your boyfriend literally lives on another planet. The future generation <laughs> would look back at this era with a mix of amusement and awe, just like you view the early days Why of computing and screen? aviation. Things would be so different right. and yet so much more amazing. Who knows? Humanity might even visit the stars As soon. Pay with this one. All right. Appreciate the links. Wait. 20 more minutes? Are we down for uh, the Jackbox? Wait. You say Jackbox 6. Let me just check that real quick.
Just a trailer. Looking for a fresh start to the new year? Relax. And, and visualize all five party games in the Jackbox Party Pack 6. The popular Trivia Deathmatch returns with Trivia Murder Party 2. Fight for your life in bizarre new mini games. Still not relaxed? How about the offbeat personality test role models? Find out who you really are. The comedy contest Joke Boat. Perform stand-up comedy on a cruise ship. The inventive word game Dictionarium. Build your own nonsensical dictionary. And the hidden identity game Push the Button. Unmask the aliens before time runs out. Oh, I remember Chemical wanted to play the alien game as well. Play with up to 10 people using your phones as controllers. Plus, an audience of 10,000 can play along. The Jackbox Party Pack 6. Make Shit. Fuck it. I'm getting it. Will I be able to download it? Twitch, TikTok. Oh yeah, good thing I covered. My whole home address leaked. Uh. How long will it take to download the game? Swin so spam since when you regret updating? Oh, four minutes. We can play uh, the party pack six. We'll play it in 20 minutes. Luckily, I don't have that option since I'm on PC. Leave nothing but ashes. I think that's only for mobile. Oh, this was easy. The fuck? There you go. Great. Upgrade some of your troops, and then we'll take these bastards down. Um, upgrade? Bread. What do you mean upgrade? <laughs> Gotta go defense. Shield man! Spears, listen! Listen up, Spear! Listen up, Spear! Best defense, the best offense. Spearman! Listen up, Spear! Red burrito. Red burger. Listen up, Spear! Listen man. up, Spear! Shield man! You better man. stop! Are you ready to fight? I thought I just upgraded. What's going on?
save game. Man, I'm bugging. We go here. Yes, listen. Advance slowly. Spearman, Spearman. Oh, don't let them complete. Spear, Spear. Ben, listen up, Tony. Kill. Let's play. Really? Y'all down to try to sec uh sixth jackbox. I mean, it is kind of early. Bro, I've been upgrading. Oh. What the fuck? Are you swimming? On your feet. What the fuck are you doing? Attention! Listen up, Spear! Infantry! Bad, bad! Listen bad, up, Spear! Bad. Oh, sure! I'm ready! When he slaps me to sick, it's cold. Yeah. Is that the upgrade? Attention! Listen up, Spear! Ben! Listen up, Spear! Spears, listen! Sure! That's the upgrade, okay. Always sharp! Now! Now! Give them hell! You're getting taxed. I mean, yeah. Infantry. We don't call it attacks, but okay. Head it out! Infantry! Shields! Spear! 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 Listen up, oh, Spear! To fight. Coming over! Uh... We will win! Apparently this is still enemy shit. Fuck it. Spear, Spear, coming over. I mean, yeah. Can spend for a long time. True. My sword will cut them. Kill the peasants. Let's get there fast. All right. And hey, how the f fuck we get in here? Oh. Through here. There! Let's go! Go, go, go! You can still spam out something. I mean, yeah. Ten spams. Still, though. You'll be spamming. Moving out. One man army. I right, good job. What? Bro. Coming over. Dumb ways to die. That's a classic. So many dumb ways to die. Dumb ways to die. Uh, uh. There, let's go. This ravine looks suspicious. Use defensive formations to find and destroy any traps. Sus. Yep. 
You cooked. Always ready. Beautiful. Dumb ways to survive. That'd be interesting. Okay, yeah. They don't have a chance! Move on, bro. Like in ten minutes. To make people dunch. My sword will cut them. Sure. Eight minutes. They will nice taste traps, my sword. Losers. We need a swamp dungeon. Coming over. What? Nude crocodiles? What? What in the furry eye uh, am I reading? They will die! Ah, bro. Sex time is more new. I'm here! Infantry! about it. Nice archers. Level up. Keep charging.
garlic or something, I'm good. My axe is ready! Glory! Infantry! Godric! Halfway dead ish. Attention! Men! Men! Charge! Can't throw shit now. I'm here. Kill man. Listen up, spear. That wasn't a level up. Okay. Infantry. Back manual. I'm done waiting. I'm here. I'm done waiting. We're going to play uh, Jackbox Six soon. Another Jackbox. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Peace out, Manuel. Appreciate you being here, though. Appreciate you saying goodbye. Listen up, Spear! Stuff when I you searched me up. Hold on. We are grateful. There we go. 
Now it's time to part our ways. Best of luck. And let's hope to meet I just say just in case. Again. This life or another. Oh. No, the name of the frog emote, Pepe. You d You only now realized. Yeah, it's Pepe the frog. Interesting. Uh, more names when you searched me up. Autismo. With an S though. <laughs> Bro just has a garbage bag on him. Okay. Stream low autismo. Another little autism, but with an S. Okay. Autismo Mafia. With an S. That's like you would call your fan base. The Autismo Mafia. Bro, you used to have the inward pass? Damn. <laughs> okay. Uh, stream little autismo music. Female little autismo. Okay. Oh, it is twenty-two. Y'all ready? Locked in. Looks like only it's you and me, spam. <clears throat> Weird it doesn't work for you. I don't know, there's not enough people. It's only you and me right now. I don't know. Or you want to play only me and you? Is that even enough? Quick guess. Wait, let me. Apparently, I launched this, and this will have the options. Does that work? Pack three is your favorite. The one we use from the very beginning, yeah. Wait, so if I go library, yeah. So they have so many games here. You can't. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Oh, let's do owned games. Duh. That's probably better. Yeah, so now we have Trivia Murder Party. Probably hard that, because this is an upgrade of this. Quiplash 2. I kind of like it. New things, role models. Oh, we could play Murder Party. 1 to 8 players. I guess. Yup. We got ten games now.
the sixth one. Can we? No, we need four players for that one. I will do guests to just warm up. Pause. How do I play? Oh. That's kind of annoying. Why is it not full screen? Why is it loud? vending machines. There's like 18 buttons to press for a soda. Oh, right. Breathe it in. Soda's encrypted now. What? Uh, Come on. What games should I even put to poll? Foolish humans. Because I feel like putting all 10 games to poll is dumb. Agent Hawthorne, if you could, act naturally and report to observation. Party 2, Joke Boat, Role Models, To the owner of the invisible car in parking lot C, you have been rear-ended. Push the button. You joining? Yes, it was on sale. Hey, Tina, you get any interesting results from tapping into those cell phone cameras? Oh, yeah. 50% yeah, of the people after. were taking selfies, 60% of which were in front of a bathroom mirror. 40% of those were scantily clad, gorgeous females. 100% of which reminded me that I need to up my personal grooming game. Yikes. Yeah. Hello. Hey Dave, it's Brian. Hello. I'm at home sick today. Could you log on to my terminal real quick? Sure thing. What's your password? Brian. Your name is your password? Well, yeah, but it's spelled B-R-I-O-N. <laughs> Are you serious? That can be hacked in 11 well nanoseconds. The title. Uppercase N, and then lowercase E, smiley face, frowny face, laughing out loud face, and register great last name. That'll work. Are you joining too, Sabin? Attention field agents. The following nicknames have already been taken. Falcon, Viper, Little Pumpkin, Mima, Sleepy Pete, Goober, this one, try the new Terry ones. Gross, Cargo Shorts, Chumba Wumba, Spider, Spider with a Y, Clumpy, Demogorgon, the Pet Dark Rocks. Overlord, and Jonathan. Foolish. Thank you for listening. All right. Three, two, well, it's one. It's kind of loud, though. Here at the government, uh, we are constantly watching everything. Like when you put an empty milk jug back into the fridge because throwing it away seemed like bit. too much effort. It all gets stored in catalog for government use, but here we use it to play... Gespionage! There you go. Let the gespionage begin! Change. Um, I changed up first? the category <laughs> and the title. What should I search for in the old well, I guess the title needs next. some work. Ooh, I know. If you got time. <clears throat> but right now, it's your turn. Uh, what table. percentage of U.S. citizens put their right hands over their hearts during the national anthem? Think. 
carefully, you want to be as close as possible to the actual percentage to get the most points. Got it. 65%. I don't know. Spam can't Everyone else, it. now it's your turn. Do you think the correct Only answer you can is higher or lower? Somehow. Say higher. Everyone says higher except for one of you. And Surveil says murder. Yes. 77%! That is a high number. We kind of suspect people what know is they're a being kilometer? Watched by kilometer. Who picked higher? Well done. You get points. Okay, who's up next? Breathe it in. This one is for the true artiste. Body here. What percentage of men manscape their body hair? Manscape. Is that a hashtag ad? What? I don't know. 36%. Everyone else, higher or lower? I know it's a compliment. One lonely vote for lower. And the correct answer is... 60%! I mean, I went shaved a dolphin oh. in my chest hair. Why shave body hair? The fuck? Let's see who got it right. That's weird. Here's some points. Who's next? Yeah. I'm going to see Damn voice, for... I guess. So many Vim boys. Damn. Heat reasons. What percentage eh. of people have been kicked out of bars? Alcoholics. Sixty-three percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Um. I'd say lower though. Everyone is saying lower. Okay, right answer Can't is... Can't be that many alcoholics and bums. Yeah. 22%. 22. Terrible guess. You need to be within 30% to even get points. Who got it I right? mean, you got to be a real well asshole done. to get you kicked get out. Next up. Hi, Dad. Have I ever told you all my brother was killed by falling prices? Ha, ha, ha. What percentage of people have visited a Walmart between midnight and 4 a.m.? Wait, we had this question before. Fuck was the percentage? 62%. If I'm not okay. wrong, we had I it already. Lower. I think it was lower. It is. <laughs> It's unanimous again. Now let's get to the right answer. Yeah, eventually. Fuck, it was high. 75%. You should Dog see the shit, camera footage. It looks like a David Lynch movie in there. You remember? Yeah, you were nice. pretty close. No one guessed correctly. Oof. Shit. Let's see who's in the lead after round one. Breathe it in. Foolish humans. Round two, here we come. Really spaced out. Okay, who's first? I'll bet our database I has mean, some yeah. juicy data for this. Makes sense. Body hair. What percentage of women use wax more frequently than other body hair bulk removal methods? We had this one too. an answer 25 percent in round two you can double down if you think the guess is off by 15 percent or more just pick much higher or much lower if you're right you'll earn double the money if not you'll get nothing i think it was lower it in. just one person says lower okay let's see the right answer 
Five percent. Hey, you're a better guesser than our train. I should have doubled nice down though. Fuck. I remembered it was low, but Let's that see low. Who got it right? Damn. Smart guess. Here's your points. Reverse dementia. Okay, who's up next? Breathe it in. A lot of repeating Ooh, I questions remember seeing this good round. surveillance for this yesterday. It's interesting. What percentage of people said they would keep working at their jobs if they won $900 million in a lottery? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. At their jobs. You're almost out of time. 24%. Oh, no. Everyone pick higher or lower. Some people like their jobs, so I don't know. Oh, Not Not a million yet, yeah, true. Okay, let's see the right answer. Fuck. 37%. 37. I guess it takes a cool billion to settle down. Yeah, because not everyone hates their jobs. Who got it right? Ooh, points for you. Good guess, Saban. Who's next? What a bunch of losers. <laughs> All right, buckle in. I've got one for you. Hey, yo, big feet. I mean, yeah, true, Saban. What percentage of people believe Bigfoot is real? Oh, that way, Bigfoot. Eleven percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? I'm even gonna go lower. Sometimes it's like five percent. One person says lower, and the correct Watch answer is. Fuck. Twenty-six percent. How Most can you be this sure dumb? Twenty-six. Clearly, Bigfoot ain't real, bro. Let's see I'm who selling. got it right. Great answer. Double points for guessing much higher. Okay, who's up next? Hi, Dad. Well, how did you sell? I've got two gain points on my shelf at home. Yeah, you're good. What percentage of people, after catching a record-breaking home run ball, would give it to the hitter or a museum instead of keeping it or trying to sell it? Fifty-seven percent. All right. What I've do you never think? seen it. Foolish humans. What do you think? Higher or lower? Breathe it in. I'm just gonna go with safe. People are thinking it's lower, and surveil says. Oh, appreciate 27%. it. 27%. I've seen you worse gave guesses. gave some points. <laughs> you got it right. For museums, nice yeah. Nice job. I've got some points for you. Damn. Good memory. Uh-oh. Final Stinky. round time. We faked dozens of focus groups to determine the most popular answers to this question. What do people think is the humans, funniest word yeah. in the English language? Now let's see the answer. Funniest word. Moist. You have three guesses. The three most popular answers are worth points. And I'm Good cosplaying luck. as most critical. Of course. Um. Remember, you can take three answers, not just one. I'm gonna go with that. Let's see what answers you chose. Okay, computer, show us the most popular answers. Fart poop. Gotta be. 
What? Moist is actually funny? Every game has to have a winner. Okay, so and don't get my miss. Breathe it in. Hey, where's my milk, bro? And you're gonna take my soda? Come on, okay, so. As a bonus prize, I'll tell you we're serious right now, bro. And you take my second milk? Alright, bro. Of course. <laughs> Alright. Okay, wait. Let's pull on the new games. Um, I mean, Murder is a new game, newer version. Roll, joke. I'll just do Dick to Diction and push. There you go, vote. This may be just redesigned, and it just upgraded. I don't think it's redesigned. It's just more shit. What's the captain? I don't know. Joke boat. Uh, we got murder. We got addiction. Fifty-fifty. Oh, murder. I guess it's for, for murder. I'm guessing it has more stuff. Yeah. It just has more more shit. I think it has old stuff as well. Um, Audi is loud as shit. Subtitles on. Come on now. Oh, you can turn some mini games off. Interesting. There we go. This is different. This is still kind of loud. Ding, ding. We got me, spam, and chemical. No, that's saving. What a different stream. Uh, that's chemical. Anyone else? Or that's it? The mini game is for sure, yeah. I guess that's it, yep. Let it go. Skip. Bit loud. This Hello. is your wake up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party! Still kinda loud. Death's in the air! And there's free coffee in the lobby! Only one of you will survive! And okay. I hope that one survivor will keep us in mind Why for their future vacation needs! I just realized. Alright, first question. It's the old Lord Tismo. Which colorful book came first? What? Use your device to answer the question. Oh no. I'ma guess that. Almost out of time. It's... And the correct answer is 
Who got Fuck. the question right? Six in my ass. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Come with me. You forgot to answer. Brag. Welcome to room 101. It's non-smoking. W. Can't ah, smoke here. the lost art of letter writing. Trying to find answers, what? I'm going to dictate a message to you. Write down as much of what I say as you can. Oh no, I'm cooked. The player who writes the fewest of my words will die. Spelling mistakes. Okay, let me lean back in this chair and get my feet up. And we begin. Dear old man seaweed, thank you for lunch this afternoon. My favorite part? The crackers and cheese. Whatever was the name of that splendid cheese. I hope you didn't find my questions intrusive. I have one more. Have you ever been in love? Time's up. All right, now let me get out my red pen and give this a voiceover. Uh, what and the what's fuck? what's the result? Yikes, one of you did real bad. This is horrible. That's not even close so to what difficult. I said. <laughs> you just say nothing. And I got nine right. Hey, nine, 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 two. Dead up. Second of them. You're back. You're a ghost now, but you have options. Keep Dead. playing, and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. F off. Keyboard advantage? Yeah, bro, I'm on fucking mobile. This shit is ass. Let's keep moving. Where was Transylvania? Oh, I should know it. Hoi four. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should know this. Who picked? Romania. This. Hoi four. Which leaves only you. It's How time. How you didn't know? Out of everyone, Sabin. Welcome back to the killing room. You're in Romania and you didn't okay, know. Okay, this one is more of an experience. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Please accept these gifts before the cops bag them as evidence. Pick a box and keep what's inside. The water damage is so part of the fair. charm. <laughs> Pick a box. <laughs> what you got? Oh. It's the knife that belonged to my grandma Despair. Fun fact, she wasn't really my grandmother, just a family friend that killed and replaced my grandmother. Oh. Anyway, I'm gonna need you to choose a finger to cut off. Oh. Maybe I wasn't clear. Choose a finger to cut off or you die. That's annoying. Yep. Jump. Okay, cool. Finger cutting done. You know, I avoided this place most of my adult life, but it's surprisingly nice to be back. To you, this is just a haunted Stay murder hotel, but to me, it's a haunted murder home. Aha, uh -huh. finger game sucks, yeah. You might be cooked. Let's try another one. What the heck was that board game with the black and white discs that my cousin Crazy Donna used to play? How the fuck do I know your cousin? Okay, this is literally impossible. I don't know your cousin. Time's running out. The fuck? Who picked this? Fuck hello. The rest of you. Wait, you still have me. the knife with you. That's kind of cool. It's my nice. own favorite chalices. I've given oh, each yeah. safe player a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. Uh-oh. Now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. This poison, like all poison, will kill you, so choose carefully. Ah, goes down smooth. Now let's see what everyone drank. You poisoned. Are you serious? Brag. Nerd died.
We're here. You got me, bro. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. In the girl with the dragon tattoo, where's the protagonist's titular dragon tattoo? Huh? Who picked this? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Time for consequences. It's tattoo time. Oh. Give me a new tattoo by drawing on your device. Hey, yo. I'm gonna draw on this guy's back. But oh, he's moaning. Okay, bro. Who drawing the dick, bro? Are you serious right now, bro? Could have think of something else. I kind of feel dangerous now. I mean, more dangerous. Now vote yeah, for your favorite maybe design. Just some certain people. The artist favorite. with the fewest votes will die. Favorite this time. Not the shittiest. What did we decide? Ugh, this ink has got to go. Time for a little pay back. That was you with the dick? Pause. Come on, Saban. Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive. But will you be the one to escape? Okay. You draw a dick on I'm his going bag. to give you a category. I guess. College football balls. Tap each answer that fits the category, and then press some. Let's see the right answers. You move That's forward no one cool. space for each correct answer. Well, you'd be closer to the exit if you'd gotten either of those right. Plot twist, all the ghosts get to play too. If a ghost catches you, they'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. What? Time is almost up. Here comes the next question. Apple computers. Uh... Hi, Carly. Ain't that a show? That ghost can smell your life force. The French mother sauces. Literally no clue. Shit. Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. Are you afraid of the dark? Yes. Animals with stripes. Huh? Time is almost up. I don't know none of them. Oh, wow. The tables have turned. Geologic time periods. Yeah, I'm cooked. Lead though. Another life force swap. Okay. Common variety is a fig. What is a fig? Uh, break. A brown turkey, apparently. Cheers in different languages. Time is almost up. I'm on the lead again. 
Chronicles of Narnia books. A lot of lucky guesses. Yeah. You're not wrong with that one. Next question. Adult Swim Cartoons. More stolen life force. It's not over yet. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. They made it even harder. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Oh, we're cooked. We've got to get it all right. Oh, we'll spam got it. Shit. They made it even harder, bro. You got to get it all correct now to leave. Shit. Good job, man. P button. Do I even have that? Brug Burger. Push the button. Uh, all right. Voting time. Push the button. Four to ten players. We have enough. I mean, yeah, we have. No, I'm fourth. You got lucky. I just got the game. I was not paying attention. I still got it first. Okay. This is so hype. You love this game? Alright. I guess we're about to see why is this hype. Me spam, uh, Sabin, uh, Chemical, Chris. That's it. Or there's more. Someone else joining? Doesn't mean you will. I'm in true. I mean, is that six person joining or? Tick tock, you know, time is ticking. I guess he's not joining. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or ten. You snooze, you lose. Dark and stormy outer space. Sorry to interrupt your cryo sleep, but I thought it worth mentioning that I, your digital officer during emergencies, or Dottie, have detected Dottie. an alien biorhythm on this ship. And just as I suspected, the aliens uh. uploaded a virus which is slowly deleting my program. I'm here to guide you through if you'd like. I mean, I have no clue, so. 
I'm initiating security First protocol, time. Carpenter, GUI, Doghead, which is a series of tests designed to evaluate your humanity and reveal any aliens yeah, hiding amongst you. Among Us reference. I have determined that two of you are secretly aliens. Oh, this is a Us. look at your device and confirm your identity. Your device can tell you if you're a human or an alien, but not the identities of your fellow players. Unfortunately, aliens will know who their compatriots are, so you'll be at a bit of a disadvantage, human. I see. So this is a Us. By my calculations, you will have 15 minutes before I cease to be, so I'd appreciate it if you could figure out who the aliens are, and then push the button. Okay. You will be our first captain. Uh, okay, now I have repurposed the ship's quarters into unique testing areas. Impressive, huh? Choose an available yeah. room and your desired participants. Okay, Chris. Chris and me. I. Welcome to the drawing quarters. You'll be given a prompt to draw. Draw it the best you can because. The alien virus will give our intruders a similar, yet different, prompt. When the drawings are revealed, cast suspicion on any you find to be a bit off. Okay. As time goes on, I'll do my best to send the aliens harder prompts. You're welcome. If they're taking too long to draw, the hurry up button can help pick up the pace. Oh no, bro. Here's the prompt I humans draw. should have received. Yeah. Draw a board game. And now the participants' answers. What? Do any of these answers seem suspicious? Yeah, nice board Keep game. Keep in mind, someone may have gotten a bad prompt. Or Idiot. they could just be a terrible artist. So Talk to each other and find the truth. But remember, two among you are aliens and will be lying. Bro is definitely an alien. Nice board game. At least try. Um. Hey everyone, if a player vote? seems to be taking way too long to move on, you can tap the hurry up button to speed up the timer. Yeah. We're on the clock here. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Okay, let's get a move on. Pick another room and test group. There's less than 13 minutes. Nice, Ben. Of course. Bar. Welcome to the Opinion Hold, a place to hang out and let your opinions fly. Each participant will be presented with a bold statement. You will then provide your level of agreement or disagreement. Aliens, however, will be given a completely different statement. When the crew sees the full opinion, aliens may have to justify an outlandish position. Uh -huh. Let's see what these players have to say. If they're an alien, their answer might be pretty out there. So we got. Oh. And the Can't prompt for humans was. That was pretty fast. I could run a mile in under six minutes. Under six minutes. What do we think? Slightly disagree. Look for someone strongly. answering out of character, or just start yelling at each other. I mean, yeah. I mean, 
decision. Yeah, hurry up. Because that seems normal. Uh oh. Right? It seems I've underestimated the alien virus's capabilities. Aliens now have the ability to hack the prompts. Uh huh. When looking at their probe screen, an alien can select any human and secretly give them the alien prompt. Oh. To make things worse, Wait. aliens can help other aliens by secretly giving them a human prompt. No, that's I hope bad. you got all of that because there's no way I'm repeating it. Okay, next captain, you're <laughs> we're in cooked. Nah. No, we're cooked. I'm a cap um I'm the captain now. Oh no. Let's see what that is. Fuck it. Who will I pick? I mean, spam hasn't been there. And I don't know. Fun fact: I found a big rat in the opinion hold. Spam and chemical. Fuck it. Welcome to the deliberation deck. Humans will be given a difficult decision and must choose which answer seems appropriate to them. Mm -hmm. Aliens will see no dilemma and must choose their answers blindly. When the crew sees the full statement, aliens may have to justify their random selection or face suspicion. Let's see what these players choose. If they're an alien, I bet it's peculiar. The prompt humans saw was... You're placed in witness protection to avoid the mob. You stand the best chance of hiding in... The middle of Nevada, and... Discuss. Tokyo, Japan. Now you have to decide who's an alien, or just makes terrible life decisions. Avoid the mob. And don't forget about those alien hacks. A smart alien can make someone this look suspicious time. by flipping their prompts. Everyone's just wait. Is he? Oh no, everyone voting first. Look oh, at your no. device. You can now push the button and take us to the extraction. Didn't room. really get the but question. But I would recommend you only do this once you're confident in your suspicion. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Chris. Time for some more art. Their drawings could reveal an alien. Welcome to the extraction. Someone room. pushed a button. If you haven't noticed, I've momentarily stopped the timer. And yes, it really hurts to do this. Since you were the one to push the button, Chris. isolate the two crew members you believe are aliens and press confirm. Since this is our first time here, you have two minutes to- No, you wrote the fucking dick, Chris. Now the non-isolated members shall vote. If you all vote yes, and these players are aliens, then the humans and moi are safe. But if one of them is a human, then it's curtains for us all. Okay, time to vote. The vote has to be unanimous. If anyone votes no, we'll have to go back to the main cabin. I don't... I don't think... The vote has failed. We don't know well, yet, right? It's way too the soon. The crew member who pushed the button can no longer push it. Nah, Chris is sus, I ain't gonna lie. All you can do is keep testing until you can all agree. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. So we got uh, a... Yeah, that's chemical. Welcome to the writing pod. You will be given a fill in the blank prompt. Answer honestly, because it will be scrutinized. Okay. The alien virus will allow the intruders to get something similar, but not quite right. When the correct prompt is revealed, it will be up to you to determine if any seem odd. This is kind of interesting, though. 
This is cool. As time winds down, I'll do my best to send the aliens some real stinkers. It's the least I can do. But I don't know, anyone standing out that would say it's Chris. Anything else, I don't know. Once you think you figured it out, don't be afraid to push that button. Assassin. That's chemical. Come on. What are you thinking? He's sold. Uh, Decrypting okay. data. Humans received the following prompt. My guilty pleasure TV, TV show, show is... Glorp Anything odd? Look for any written answer that doesn't seem quite right. Romanian and don't TV forget show, to hit that don't suspicion know. button. Fair? Glorp oh, he didn't respond. Bro, what is bro? What the fuck is Chris doing, bro? Bro, fuck is Chris doing, bro? Is so fucking sus. Are you serious? Is the glitching getting worse? I feel like it's getting worse. The bio scanner is now online. If the team you send there passes a test, you'll be able to analyze any player and find out. Push button. Okay, here we go. Whom will you Save isolate? It. You only get one minute, so act quickly. Fair enough. I okay, mean, time to vote. Spam didn't have, did have sus on chemical. Wait, what if it's... Fuck it. I really feel like it's chem the vote not passed. chemical. Chris. Like, well, like, what was Chris doing, bro? Chris was alien. Oh. <laughs> chemical wasn't. Well, crap. I mean. Oh! Wait, I play good. <laughs> Wait, that was holy shit. Damn. But that was fun though. Fuck <laughs> off. Just so confusing. Do we play again or? No, honestly, no. Nah, Chris literally sold though. Chris literally sold so bad. I ain't gonna lie. Bro just threw a cock. Drawing yours was sus. I had card games. I mean, it's close to a board game. I was kind of in the area though. Did Chris live? I feel like Chris left. Anyone else joining? No. Yeah, this is fun. I guess that's it. Bro rage quitted. Bro draw, draw, uh, draw a dick and rage quitted. Alright, I guess that's all. L Chris, bro. All my homies hate Chris. 
Sorry to interrupt your cryo sleep, but I thought it worth mentioning that I, your digital officer during emergencies, or Dotty, have detected an alien biorhythm on this ship. And just as I suspected, the aliens uploaded a virus, which is slowly deleting my program. I'm available for guidance right, if you no require. no tutorial. We're good. Skip. I have determined that one of you is secretly an alien. Okay. Please look at your device and confirm your identity. Your device can tell you if you're a human or an alien, but not the identities of- By my calculations, right. you will have 12 minutes before I cease to be. So I'd appreciate it if you could figure out who the alien is and oh, then now we have one push alien. that button. I guess it makes sense. You will speak. be our first captain. Choose an available room and your desired participants. Saving. Chemical. Chemical and spam. Alright. You have been selected to give your opinion. Answer the Spam question on your device. Kept tapping wrong accidentally. Here's the correct prompt. It happens. I can't express myself without emojis. And now, let's judge how they responded. Do any of without these answers emojis. seem suspicious? Express myself without emojis. Slightly agree. Um, I don't know. I mean, chemical does put emojis. Selected. Okay, let's get a move on. Oh, Pick me. another room and test group. There's less than 11 minutes. Uh, writing pop. Um, okay, Sabin. This is Sabin and Spam. Yeah. Writing test initiated. Write an answer to the prompt test on your you, device. So you sure? I mean, eh, whatever, too late now. But I feel like no matter what, it's fine. Hmm. You ever notice how boring space is? Most of it. And here's what humans saw. Okay. The one fad I never got into was. Never got into. What the do hell is a fad? So yeah. I do not know what that is. I be yeah. I don't know. Next captain, you're on the clock. Bro, this is tough. Chemical? Alright. Me? Me and Spam. Let's all agree to meet back here one year from today, but without the deadly circumstances. No. Our first visit to the deliberation deck. Okay. Answer the question on your device. Uh. 
Let's see the human prompt. You're a modern day Noah, but with a smaller boat. You'd have no problem leaving behind. I mean, yeah, mosquitoes. And go. Who likes mosquitoes, bro? <laughs> Literally the same answers. 50 50. Next captain, please. Spam. Me and you have entered the drawing quarters. Seven. Draw the prompt on your device. like they're taking too long with their precious art, you can always hit the hurry up button. Human received. Draw a fictional spaceship. Exploded. There's gotta be a clue. Can't draw spaceship. This virus is getting on my nerves. Let's figure this out. Next, Captain. Sabin. This is the bioscanner. I hope you've chosen a team you can trust. Captain, I'm sending you the correct glyphs now. Sus on me and chemical. <laughs> One of you, in your opinion, is the imposter. Fair. The test has failed. How does this even work? Okay, that was suspicious. Maybe test humans next time. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We're on the clock here. I feel like so this is literally going. impossible. The captain is killed. How that even works? And the title of captain has been passed. Yeah, no more bias scan. Me. Um. Oh no. Drawing. Uh... 
See that constellation? That's called Zeus's butt. Or maybe Orion. I don't know. Oh no. Chemical and Sapin. Get your drawing fingers ready. What they draw could be quite revealing. Did I mention that if humans use all of their button pushes without success, you lose? Well, you do. Humans were given this prompt. Draw a crazy knight at the bar. Do any of these answers seem suspicious? What is chemical drawing? Saving, you can see there's a... Yeah. A guy sitting on a stool. Drinks and stars? We're on the clock here, people, so let's oh, keep it no. going. Looks like a table. See all the shaking? That's bad. Next, Captain. Go, go, go! Oh, shh. 50 seconds. They're... Pushing button. Welcome to the extraction room. Since you were the one to push the button... Save room, will you isolate? Since this is our first time... Now the non-isolated member shall vote. Okay, time to vote. I can't. Fuck it. The vote has to be unique. The vote passed. <laughs> oh no. We're cooked. See ya. Yeah. Two times back to back. What the fuck? No, honestly, don't. With the art, do not put letters in there. Do not put fucking letters in there. It's supposed to be art. You're fucking cheating. Never fucking wrote letters. That's cheating. Oh, I don't know how to draw this. Like, that's cheating. Don't do that. But two times in a row? What the fuck? Yeah, that's insane. Alright, who are we rating? <sighs> Thing plus you can't delete. I mean, but from now on, let's agree that we don't fucking put letters when we draw. If I did say you were... You did, yeah. That's insane, but back to back. Chances of that happening. Uh, Zoltan again? I mean... No one else? <coughs> no, the Mogus was pretty fun though. You ain't trying to into raid? Oh, you have to go? Fair enough. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Oh, no. Guess I'll raid. Alright. I am that fellow, though. As always... Love all your mentals. Hope you enjoyed your stay. And I'll uh, see y'all tomorrow. So peace out and good night. <laughs>
not that guy, but I'm that fellow. Brock Burger Ray. He said, if that happens, give me mod. Oh, my. He said, if that happens, give me mod. Yo, that's crazy, bro. No way! Another raid again? Yo, wait a minute. Am I him? Am I him? No, I'm not him. I'm not him. I'm not him. Yo! Yo! How we doing? Bro, I... If there's one thing that I can count on, bro, it's Sabine being here, bro. Thank you for that raid, though. Thank you for that raid, though. Good lord. Hopefully the stream was good. Hopefully everybody's doing well. How we doing? How we doing?